Let us perform an activity. Try to uproot a bunch of us. You will find it difficult to do so. Do you know why? Yes, because the root fixes the plant in the soil and prevents it from being carried away from strong wind or water. Look at this plant planted in the soil. The soil has lots of minerals and nutrients. The root absorbs minerals and other nutrients from the soil. It also absorbs water for the plant from the soil. Carrot plant, beetroot plant, turnip plant. Some plants like carrot, beetroot and turnip show food in their root. Some plants have strong and no stems, while other plants have thin and weak stems. Today, let's learn about the functions of plant. Imagine what will happen if there is no stem. Yes, the stem helps to keep the plants upright. We have already learned that the root absorbs water and minerals from the soil. These water and minerals are carried to different parts of the plant by using stem. Onion plant, ginger plant, some plants like potato, ginger and onion show food in their stem. Leaves are the green flat part of the plant. They are many in numbers. The flat broad part of a leaf is called the leaf blade or the lamina. A thick line that runs across the middle of the leaf is called the midrib. The small stalk that attaches the leaf to a branch is called the petiole. Many other lines emerge from the midrib. These are called veins. The tip of the leaf is called the apex. The main function of the leaf is to prepare food for the plant. And that is why the leaf is called the food factory of the plant. The leaf has tiny pores on its underside. It is through these pores that the exchange of the gases take place. The leaves take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. Hence, leaves also help in respiration. The leaves of plants like cabbage and spinach are eaten as vegetables. Flowers The flower is the most beautiful part of the plant. It comes in different colors. Flowers changes into fruits. Fruits are the juicy, fleshy part of the plant. They bear seeds inside them. Some fruits may have many seeds, while the others may have few or one. Look at the picture. Papaya has many seeds. Whereas an apple has only a few seeds. Seeds when sown in the soil under favorable conditions grow into a new plant. 